Mannequin families supplied by private industry are to represent Mr. and Mrs. America. Rows of mannequins were set up in the open facing the blast. Each item of clothing and each color had been carefully selected to give much needed survival information. A fascinating part of the above ground testing, when they would do it, they, they would also get to the point where they needed to understand the effects on daily life in America. So they built houses that were like regular houses that people lived in. They built hotels and bridges and overpasses, even banks with concrete vaults to, to see what would happen if they set a weapon off nearby. As part of that, the local J.C. Penney's store here, which was the department store in Las Vegas, was very patriotic. So when they'd have a test, Penney's would say, you guys need some mannequins out there? We can supply some for you. They look like people, sort of. So they would take some of these mannequins out of the store, and, and J.C. Penney's even put clothing on them, and they would put them in these houses, set the bombs off, and then they'd go back and see what happened. If they weren't destroyed or they're just slightly singed, uh, they'd dust them off and, and J.C. Penney said, thank you very much, can we have them back? And they'd take them back and put them in the store again and reuse them. Uh, and some of them were maybe slightly radioactive in the process, but it didn't seem to bother anybody too much at the time. Do you remember this young lady? This tattoo mark was left beneath the dark pattern. And this young man, this is how the blast charred and faded the outer layer of his new dark suit. I looked at the mannequin sitting about so indifferently. This time it was only a test, a well-planned test, not a real attack. It was a test of the things we use in everyday life. 